To stay updated, subscribe to TJA Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss how regression is run in eViews and how it is interpret in our model GDP is dependent variable and labor force capital and FDI are independent variable as we have discussed in our previous lecture that how to input the data in eViews we have settled a set the data from 1981 to 2010 a time series data of these variables and uh, now we are going to run the regression model where GDP as dependent variable is equal to A means intercept plus beta 1 the coefficient of labor force plus beta 2 the coefficient of capital plus beta 3 the coefficient of FDI and plus alpha. This equation we are going to estimate for this purpose first we should go to quick then estimate equation. This window is appeared now basically we have to run this model we have to run this model here first variable is a dependent variable is gdp so we will write here gdp then space then you have to write for this intercept a so we have to write here c for constant c means intercept then we have to put all our independent variables like labor force capital and fdi here you can see the method is a least square means ordinary least square method and your sample size is 1981 to 2010 then we, uh, we press ok this is the regression output now we are going to interpret these results first we will consider the coefficient if we write the equation regression equation with this result so how GDP how it is written GDP is equal to A means constant here C means constant and the value in front of C basically is the value of A or value of constant so in place of A we have to write 10.93 plus then labor force this beta 1 is the coefficient of labor force and the val value of beta 1 this shows the value of beta 1 this shows the value of beta 1 so we have to write here 0 0.738 738 labor force plus beta 2 is the coefficient of capital so in here 1.81 is the value of beta 2 1.81 there is no sign before these values means all values are positive if uh, it would be minus 1.81 to we will write or uh, like this if one 1.81 is in minus but here is in plus so we have to write this plus 1.81 capital plus 0.113 FTI FTI so this is the equation this is the generalized form of the equation and this is the estimated equation so how to interpret this 0.789 we can interpret this value as if labor force increase by one unit then dependent variable 
means GDP increase by 0 0.798 units keeping other factors other factors means capital in FDI remains constant for capital if capital increase by one unit this independent variable increase by one unit then GDP for the trend shows the increase then GDP increase by 1.81 units keeping other factors remains constant same would be for FDI if FDI increase by one unit then GDP increase by 0.113 keeping other factors remains constant so this is the interpretation of this coefficient so uh, if uh, the result is presented so directly uh, we can interpret if labor force increase by one unit then GDP increase by 0.738 if capital increase by one unit then JD, GDP increase by 1.81 if FDI increase by one unit then GDP increase by 0.113 keeping other factors remains constant now if we run regression with any data software will produce these type of results so should we consider the given result every time means if result says if labor force increase by one unit then GDP increase by 0.79 0 0.798 here 0 0.738 the correct value is 0 0.738 0 0.738 keeping other factors remains constant every result shows this result the aggregation show this is so should we consider this result or not every software always produce chances of error chances of error with with their coefficients with their coefficients and chances of error means and it is show, presented by prob value here this this shows the chances of error what does it mean prob value shows the chances of error here the value is 0 0.0001 right so it means there is 0 0.001 0.001 percent chances of error here 0 .00, 0 0.06 chances of error 0 0.01 chances of error here the chance of error is 0 what does it mean it means if labor force increase by one unit then GDP increase by 0.738 units keeping other factors remains constant the chances of error in occurrence of this value is 0.01 percent it is very low if capital increase by one unit GDP increase by 1.81 keeping other factors remains constant the chances of error in occurrence of this value chances of error mean chances of error in occurrence of this value is 0 0.06 0 0.06 means 0 0.06 percent if FDI increase by one unit GDP increase by 0.113 the chances of error of the occurrence of this value is almost zero it means all three values have very low chances of error so we should consider these values as a significant value here before uh, we interpret a result as significant or insignificant we have to set some criteria criteria about chances of error Me, it means with percent we will say the chances of error is high and below this level the chances of error is low the level you are going to set 
to compare the chances of error whether it is high or low the, the level is called level of significance mostly five percent is considered five percent is considered as a chance of error it means if prob value is greater than five percent or 0 0.05 if prob value is greater than 5% or 0 0.05 it means chances of error is high and we will not consider the regression result for particular variable like and if if chances of error or prob value is less than 5 percent or 0 0.05 it means regression results are considerable and variable is significant in our model significant in our model all prob values are less than 0.5 all prob values are less than 5 percent and 0.5 means all variables are significant so we can say rightly say if labor increased by one unit gdp increase by 0.738 if capital increase by one unit gdp increase by 1.81 if fdi increase by one unit gdp increase by 0.113 units so we have decided the variables are significant on the basis of the prob value or chances of error so t stats shows the same result but for t statistics we have considered in our previous lectures that there are two type of t statistics t calculated and t tabulated if t calculated is greater than t tabulated it means reject h naught and variable is significant we have done all this process we have done all this process on the basis of prob value and the result always will be the same if prob value shows the variable are significant it means t stats will also show the variable are significant it is not possible that t stat shows the variables are significant and prob value shows the variables are insignificant so we have to interpret our result with the help of prob values no need to consider more t statistics because both will show the same result here t stat shows the significance of individual variable like labor force is significant or not capital is significant or not fdi is significant or not but here are f statistics and prob value f what does f stat show f statistics statistics f statistics show the combined effect of all independent variable on dependent variable the criteria would be same if prob of f stats is greater than 5 percent or 0 0.05 it 
means chances of error is high and we can conclude that combined effect is insignificant on the other hand if prob value of f statistics is less than 5% of 105 it means combined effect is significant or considerable considerable here the prob of f stats is 0 means less than 0 0.05 means less than 5 percent it means there is a combined effect of all independent variables on dependent variable there is significant combined effect and the value is r square and adjusted r square this is the explanatory power or forecasting power of the model so both are near to one we know that uh, the value of r square always lie between 0 to 1 uh, so it is very near to 1 means 0 0.989 98.99% these independent variables will forecast independent variables will forecast 98.99% true value of dependent variable dependent variable right so these are the interpretation of our regression model i hope this video helps you to interpret or run your regression model in eviews if you like the video please like share and subscribe my channel tj academy